Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to Scale Modeling Obsession. Um, just doing this quick update. I believe this would be update number two for the chuck wagon. And I want you to, you know, take a, you know, take a good look at this picture here. You can see those decals here, and those decals here, and then you can see all the other white ones that come around, and then the decals that are up here where they go around the front and all that kind of stuff. So, just something to, because what I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm waiting on these decals to come in the mail because uh, I, I found somebody who can make them for me. Um, so, he's going to do that for me. So, alright. I um, want to show you where we're at. Okay, I would gotten... The uh, and I'll zoom in a little bit here. I've gotten the body and the chassis have all been painted. The motor is in because I wanted to have the chassis in and paint it all at the same time and all that. So the just part of the motor, it's 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 in there, and I have to add all the chrome parts. You know, everything else to the motor is just basically the block and the transmission and all that. And it's in there. I got a little bit of touch-up painting around here where I had to slide it in and all that. So that's in. Um, the axle's also put together. It'll fit. I have to scrape a little bit of paint away to make sure that it fits in there and it, it glues well. But I've already test fitted it, so that's that'll be fine. Um, and that's chrome. But here's um, the way it started out. And here's what I was talking about in another video where you have the red, you know, body and the chassis and all that. And then where you have all this stuff, it would be like steel. So that's red. And then this tan that you see is all wood grain. That all has a wood grain on it, if you can see it. So that's a Vallejo color. Uh, I, it's like a light tannish um, color. Um, and that's the base that I have for it. This door opens up. And I have the other door still. Uh, I haven't put that on. The rear saloon type doors. They, you know, they'll open up and all that. I can, un I can take those off. They just snap on there. And... The inside is this is just the base coat. All this stuff that's trimmed and tan is a base coat that all has the wood grain on everything. So that's all going to be the wood grain. And remember what I showed you like on this side, you can see this door here is going to have a decal on it. This is going to have a decal on it. Then there'll be some decals down here on the lower part of the body. And then on the front here you can see there will be a white decal that goes around, around here, decorative decal, and then these seats get painted white, and then you get painted to look like cowhide. And then there's the seat that goes across here. Um, so, yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, it's trimmed in red with the natural wood on the inside. But, I'm going to show you, I did I already did the roof. Before I show you that, here's the, the fenders. Everything came out absolutely excellent. The, uh, the Everything laid nice and flat. And this is what I used. This is Tester's Aztec Pearl Red. It's a shame that they don't make this paint anymore. That they discontinued it. Because it's absolutely great. And it goes on well. It's nice and hard, especially when you put a primer coat on. You put this on over primer, it's it's as hard as a rock. It's it's great paint, but they discontinued it. But if you can find some on Amazon or somewhere, there's still some lingering around. If you can find some, get it and try it. Because it's really nice paint. And you get two full ounces of it. Um, here is the roof. That'll go on. And here's how I did the roof. So if you can see a hint of red in there. And 
And what that is, is I started out with this tan, light tan base coat. And if anybody wants to know in the comments, if you want to know, you let me know and I'll give you the name of the uh, Vallejo paint bottle. I just didn't bring it in with me. I forgot that bottle. But what I did was I painted the roof just like that. You know, I painted it with that base coat of that tan color. Then I gave it a wash. This is the other testers that Rick Zint, he pointed out what it actually was called. Because I couldn't remember. It's Create FX. And it's an acrylic wash. And that's made by testers. And this is also, they stopped making this too. But you might be able to find it at Michael's. That's where I found it. And they have quite a few jars left. This is teak wash, if you can see that. It's teak. So it's a teak wood wash. You can see the reddish brown at the bottom and the red up at the top. And you, So you got to really mix it because the sediment, you know, settles to the bottom. So that's what I did is I gave this a wash after I painted it with that base coat of this red teak. And then after that, I used this soft tone, which is a black wash, but it's, it's a soft black wash. Um, I gave it a wash of this. I let it dry, let it run into the, um, the cracks in between and the lines in between the shingles. So you can see the dark lines in between the shingles. And then after all that dried, I let that dry overnight. And then when all that dried, I gave it a second wash of the teak. Create FX, you know, teak wash. And it came out looking like this. That's how it looks. So that's what I'm going to do with all this light tan. It's going to be the exact, I'm going to do it the exact same way. So all the wood... You know, I'm going to try to match it up as best as possible. And then all the decals are going to go on. And everything, you know, the wood-wise, it'll all match up. And it should look good. You know, here is the steering wheel that was done the exact same way. So you can see that it really turns out almost, you know, the same way. There's a little less wood grain on this steering wheel, so you don't quite get the effect that you do with the roof. But the colors are basically the same, and they're there. They have that red look. Now, this, these are the barrels that comes with it. And I've done that, and I've done this in a little bit darker brown. It was the same tan base coat, but just a different brown coloring. It's called wood grain from Vallejo. And I did that, I did a, a dry brush of the wood grain, and then I just painted the uh, the rings with uh, a flat black. And now these all have to be, uh, have to get a clear coat, you know, a, a dull coat put on them. There's the large barrel, and there's the small barrel. So, that's basically what's going on, and what's happening with... Uh, the chuck wagon and I think it's going to look really nice you know it'll be a little bit different than the way that it is on the box and if I zoom out and I bring the box up if you can see the box the box has everything was painted basically red the same color red and all that and then they put the decals on they just put some black in here to make it look like wood grain but I'm going to have it look like real wood so it's going to match the roof and it'll have the red in between for where the metal was. The, the supports will all be red metal. So uh, that's what's going on. And then you can see where the engine is black. I just have to add all these chrome parts and the belt and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be, you know, soon. And then I have to wait for these decals to come in the mail. And then we'll get this together. It'll look a little bit different than the box, but I think it'll look a little bit more realistic with the wood grain so that's what's going on and that's uh basically the update that's where i'm at 
and I'm slowly working on it. Uh, I wanted to get this out to show where I was because I don't think there's any, oops, excuse me, I don't think there's any need to show anything else until um, the final. So I just wanted to get this out and come, cause come the weekend I'm going to be, um, I have a few figures that I had done. So I'll be putting this Saturday or Friday, I'll be putting up a uh, video of the figures or that one figure that I had gotten done. I've gotten a few done, but I'll be putting a, a video up of a figure. So, all right. That's about it. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments what you think of progress so far. All right. Bye-bye now.